Bright Suns, Disney's most ambitious, immersive experience for Star Wars fans, Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser is now open at Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida. Before its official opening on March 1st, 2022, WDW Magazine was invited to a media preview where we got to tour the ship, try some of the onboard experiences, and hear from cast members working to bring the project to life. After arriving at the terminal and departing in our launch pod, we were off for a grand adventure with four hours to explore the Halcyon. Missing Walt Disney World? You need a magical escape. Join 40,000 subscribers and counting. We put Walt Disney World in your hands. There's no portion bread here but plenty of blue milk and green milk. It's available on tap and unlimited. Meals are served in the Crown of Corellia dining room with a tapas plate style buffet for breakfast and lunch and full table service at dinner. The foods here are made of normal earth foods you know and love, but the textures, flavors, and colors are bold reinterpretations of familiar dishes along with unique creations from culinary director Brian Piasecki and his team. At breakfast, you'll find pastries, eggs, blue milk, butter, and yogurt, plus plant-based dishes like kale porridge and compressed fruit salad. At lunch, there are vivid salads, wood-fired flatbreads, sticky ribs, creative fish, and show-stopping desserts. We were treated to tasting portions of some of the dishes from the two different dinner menus, including a tip-yip spiral dumpling with kadu cream, flora noodle salad, seared kashyyyk whitefish, bantha beef tenderloin with crushed moon rock potatoes, and jogan fruit and caramel whip. Everything we tasted was full of flavor, well-prepared, and a visual treat. We cannot wait to dine there again on an upcoming trip. The menus are different each night of your two-night voyage, but both feature multiple family-style courses along with a menu for younglings, and there's an option to add on a chef's table experience for an additional fee at the time of booking your voyage. And yes, just like everywhere at Walt Disney World, allergies and dietary restrictions are happily accommodated. Night 1 features a performance by intergalactic superstar Gaia. Videos do not do justice to the charismatic performance by Gaia and her backup musicians, Wani and Sandro. The whole dining room got into the fun, dancing, and humming along with her catchy tunes. Of course, there's also the option to order beverages. Many non-alcoholic options are available as part of your voyage fee, but specialty drinks with or without alcohol are an extra fee whether you're having them in the sublight lounge off the atrium or in the Crown of Corellia dining room. We sampled the Blue Milk Citrus Fizz, as well as the Yeruda Poison Spitter Drop, which are both alcohol-free. They were tasty and not overly sweet and syrupy as mocktails sometimes are. We particularly like the Poison Spitter. The Hoth Icebreaker is another drink we tried. Now that's a lemony, vodka-based drink with a show-stopping presentation in a fabulous glass topped with foam and sugary ice. Like to see more Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser content? Click that subscribe button. May the Force be with you, and may the stars light your way.